Okay, good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to another reading with the Crown Priestess. Happy 1212. Okay, it is the 1212 portal today, December 12th, 2023. Um, when I was channeling uh, messages earlier in my meditation, um, spirit brought through very clearly that there this is a time where they are throwing you a little rope, okay. Um, end of the year swag. We know how it's been going. If you watch my last collective reading, <laughs> you know, it's, it's been tough. Um, people are going through some things. There's some, some serious changes happening. Okay. Um, shifts happening in the energy. And so you can really capitalize on the energy of this portal by, you know, manifesting yourself out of a difficult situation. Um, portals are great for manifestation overall in most cases, as, especially higher numbers like this. Like 1212 is actually a really important um, angelic lineup, but I'm, I'm not even going to get into that. I don't want to bore you guys with numerology right now. Just know um, that it is a time where spirit is kind of giving you a little bit of leeway okay um now i'll say this because a lot of practitioners in whatever they practice um are i don't know if they're unaware or they just fail to educate um people on the matter but um you have to be very careful with um what you're asking for what you're wishing for what you're manifesting what uh, you are casting what you are conjuring, especially during portals. Okay, um, a lot enough enough people don't talk about this, but there is something extra. You know, portals are extremely amplified power. You know, it's extremely high high uh, frequency, and so. Just, you know, be cautious when you are wishing for certain things or asking the divine or the universe to grant you certain things. Um, be specific and intentional, you know, and pay attention to the details because when we are, you know, affirming whatever it is that we are petitioning during these portals, it is extremely binding, okay? It's like one of those things that is very difficult. In most cases, cannot be broken or undone. Um, and if they are, the consequences are not lenient, okay? Um, so that's your disclaimer moving forward because I don't, you know, I don't want anybody to be nervous. We, you know, wish for your stuff, do your things, but just be careful what you're wishing for okay because again these times like you know rituals and then spell casting and all those things are already obviously naturally binding contracts but during a portal it's like you it's almost like writing it in stone okay <laughs> it's like setting it in stone almost okay all right so what does the collective need to hear for this beautiful 1212 portal? What is going on? What is the message? Um, I'm still available for personal readings. I'm also doing till December 31st. Um, I am doing a $15 question with a short pre-recorded video for you guys. It's actually really early when I'm filming this because I have a lot of work to get done today. Places to be, things like that. So... Um, I don't know at what time you're viewing this. I hope that you are in good health, that you are keeping your sanity as intact as you possibly can. Um, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Okay. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. I guess people are watching from, or just, I don't know. Whatever. Bye. I'm talking too much. I don't know what is going on. I'm, I'm getting a lot of downloads, actually. And it's making me a little jittery. Contract. I just spoke about this. Um, a lot of you are definitely coming into a contract. 
sealing the deal on something, closing a deal on something. Now, again, I want to say that I'm doing this. This is the 12th. It's amazing because the Mercury retrograde officially starts tomorrow. Um, and so this is what I mean when I say spirit gives you a little rope, right? On this day, on the 12-12. So just um, some of you are definitely... Make sure that you are just, again, dotting your I's, crossing your T's, going over the details, you know, rough drafting, re revising. There's a lot of revision. Just be very clear in what you are putting into these contracts. What are you removing from these contracts? Because some of you are revisiting, renegotiating contracts as well. Mm -hmm. um, and this can be obviously physical documentation legal documentation this can be spiritual contracts you know your life just understand that something here is being finalized okay because i'm now they're they're bringing me to the clause right to the closing statements um you know what what the fine the finality the finalizing of the of the document of the contract okay Thank you, Spirit. I'm sorry. They're they're doing a lot. Like, I wish they would like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. I like that. Okay. A lot of this, for, you know, for some of you, this can definitely have to do with love. I want to say self-love with door to personal happiness and healing and the woman with a heart. Cancer energy, right? Yes, Queen of Cups is like that. 63444, those numbers can be significant. Or 674, okay? There's something here is interesting. 24, 34, 44. Some of you are skipping timelines. Others of you, what is that? What is that? What is that? I heard it. I heard it. Sorry, I'm y'all. If I look crazy, I'm not crazy. Okay. Now twenty three thirty three. Yes, something is. You, you see, I, I'm not crazy. Twenty three thirty three, all tied up with daughter romance is. You guys are like closing up. Again, finalizing a contract, closing up. Some of you are getting divorced. All right, there's great separate, like there's a big separation here. Um, but I almost feel this big relief around it. Like there's this sigh of relief um, because you you skipped a step or you, you got away with something here or you're going to get away with something um, here much easier than you expected. Cornucopia on the bottom, much easier than you expected. Much like, I'm sorry, they're giving me a lot. It's like um, someone, you know, and this, this correlates a little bit to the last collective reading I did with not saying anything or being quiet, saying less. It's like someone tells you off, right? You know, it, it's like <laughs> somebody's like, you know, fuck you. Go to hell. I don't want to do this shit anymore. You're fucking miserable. X, Y, Z. And they're like whatever maybe they're cursing you out or they just have a mouth load you know somebody really has a mouthful of shit to say and you know they get to say more and kind of like get into this monologue because you're not saying anything and it's like this person fancies themselves hurting your feelings almost like like they think they told you like you got told but like you stay quiet and then you walk away but like when you turn around and walk away, they don't see that you're smiling. You're like, yes. Like, you know what I mean? Like they like somebody is making it that much easier for you. Or you you feel like it's like maybe you were about to have someone here. Maybe you were like trying to work yourself up into finally, you know, having a conversation or addressing something. And this person addresses it before you even have to open your mouth. It's like you, they make it so simple. You know, some of you, this can even be like a third party speaking for you. You know, especially if this is in 
court legal matters, right? Like with, you know, you have a lawyer, your lawyer speaks for you. You don't have to say anything, right? The judge and the lawyer are kind of having the conversation and you're kind of just there quietly. Like, you know what I mean? Um, it's some something to that effect that I'm seeing. It doesn't necessarily have to be court, but it's like, it's like someone, someone speaking for you, you know, someone's doing it for you, whether it's the opposing person kind of like doing it, or it's like another person watching this ends up, you know, speaking for you and saying what they have to say. And it's like, you don't have to do anything. And that's exactly what spirit is giving. Like, you ain't got it. You didn't got to do it. We got this. You know, I got this. You know, it's like that. Somebody's like, I, I got this. I got this. I'm going to, with this going what is it saying? Give it to me, Spirit. I just said it the other day to, to someone. The trash takes itself out. Period. You know, it's something like that. Okay, moving forward. <laughs> the trash takes itself out. And it's like, um, for some of you, you have like a decision between two things, two jobs, two people, two locations. You know, person, place, a thing, you place it. Um... And it's like, you really want the new thing, right? The newer thing, the newer person, the newer energy. But you you know that it's like, you have this difficult close with this, or it's not going to be easy to walk away from this this other thing, right? Um, but it, it, I'm telling you, it just is like, it cancels out for you. Like it does the work for you. That's the little rope that spirit is giving you. Um, today like they they're literally like here you go i got this I, i'm gonna do it for you you know what i mean um something about deleting some of you can be deleting old photos of people places and things in your phone that just remind you of bad stuff a lot of you are walking oh my god wow a lot of you are walking into a really abundant time especially if this is matters of love Family home, ten of cups, the hierophant, ten of pentacles, out of control. That makes sense with daughter romance and the queen of cups here. You've healed something, you know. You've healed some serious trauma. Now I'm gonna get more into the spiritual part of this with the contract and the daughter healing and happiness. You, your karma, your debt is paid. Okay, is what I'm getting with this. You've paid your debt. Um, and it's like now, I think a lot of you have almost been in like this sort of limbo and not because of other people around you, but self-inflicted. I think some of you have been, you were almost like, I'm hearing enslaved, geez, but uh, you know, like imprisoned for a while with a situation with a pattern way of you know behavior um you know with a relationship with it with whatever and you 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 know you worked through it you went through it you finally woke up to whatever it was you understood and analyzed the situation like okay this is a fucked up situation to be in like i've got myself i'm knee deep in the game you know, it's like quicksand. I don't know if the, the more I struggle, the more I sink. Um, but you're again, the rope reference the spirit just keeps that little rope that they're throwing you. That was the channel's message I got early this morning in meditation anyway. Um, but you realized what was happening, right? You realized I'm sinking quickly. Like I can't do a lot about this. And you started to reflect a lot on self, not just on the other entity, but on yourself. Like what part, what part did I play in this? What role did I play in this? How did I get here? And you started to then strategize a way out, right? But it's like you had to be, you know, the, the Hierophant also is like, it gets very wise, right? Like you had to wise up. You had to step up. You had to reach this level of enlightenment and understanding, um, you had to become, you know, it's almost like somebody here had an outer body experience, you know, it's like you stepped out of yourself almost to look at what you were standing in. And that's when you got to see the full picture. And once you were able to do that, 
you took all the necessary steps and it took time so much time in fact that you're by the time you you know now you're here in a place that's why i say the limbo it's like you don't even realize that you've come out of this quicksand already like you know what i mean like i don't know what you did or what you had to go through to get out of it but you did and it's like now you're having to experience maybe another outer body experience to really look at where you are and how far you've come. Okay, I hope that I'm making sense with this. But it's that sometimes we're so honed in on what we're doing that we don't realize the progress we've made. You know what I mean? Um, and that's what I'm seeing here is that you maybe have not recognized the progress that you've made, right? It's like, hmm, give me something to compare this to spirit. Okay. It's like swimming in towards an island in open water. You can see the island and you know, you have a ways to go. So you you just start swimming, right? And you're anxious at first because I don't know what's lurking in this water. I might get eaten. I might end up being somebody's dinner, right? My arms are not going to carry. So sometimes you had to stop and just float. Sometimes you had to, you know, then you, you found like a piece of plank or something floating by, you climbed on that so you can like maybe get a rest and go to sleep for a little. Times where you had to now eat because you're starving. So, you know, maybe you caught a fish and fuck it. Survival of the fittest had to eat that fish just the way it was. But I got to make sure I got my strength to get to this island. And so you got back and started paddling again some more. Maybe you're using the paddle. What you just you've been through this ridiculous like unimaginable journey and it's like you're so used to it now you know like days and days that you've been on this water but you still can see the land you, you see that island and it just doesn't feel like it's getting any closer and you're like oh man you know tomorrow's a new day and you go back to sleep on your little plank and you wake up again and you are brushed on shore and it's like, wait a minute, I'm, I made it. You know, it's something to that effect that's happening to someone. It's like, you've been doing this ridiculous journey. You know, some of you, this is weight loss. I can attest to that. Um, and you know, you've been working out, you've been at the gym and you're like, oh, I really want to lose 40 pounds, I really want to lose 40 pounds, I really want to lose whatever, and you just busting your ass for months, and maybe like the first 10 dropped really quickly, but then like the other, it got slow, you had to switch up your eating, you had to this, you had to that, and you're looking at yourself every day in the mirror, and you don't really see the change, and then you take a picture at your family event, and everybody at the event is like, oh, you look great, you look this, you look that, and you're like, oh, thanks. But, you know, body dysmorphia. Because you're just, like, looking at yourself every day. You don't really think so. But then you take this picture at the family event. And you hold it aside, the picture you took at last year's event. And you're like, oh, shit. I I did that. Like, I really, I now I can see. You know what I mean? Some of you, you've been so knee deep in this trauma and you've worked so tirelessly to come out of it that it's only now that you are realizing that you're not in the same place that you were before you're not the same person that you were before and you are ready for reward now you know the next level now you're you've wised up and you have beaten whatever this is you've beaten it Okay, I like that a lot. There could be support coming your way, okay? And coming fast. Some of you have saved up enough money to buy a new car, a new big 
thing again. Queen of Wands, looking good. Three of Pentacles. People are looking at you. They see that you look, you look fab. You're doing great. You know, even this, if this is, I mean, I do think that it's a physical thing for a lot of you. But aside from that, it's like you feel better, you know? You, like people can feel that you feel better. You look happier. You look like, you just look like love and happiness. Like, you know, that's what I'm hearing from Spirit. Let's get some oracles for you. Abundance. You see? Wow. Work 12, 12. A lot of you are able to manifest healthy choices, as I spoke of. Not just the physical, but spiritual as well. But I literally referenced weight loss, looking good, self-care, self-love, all those things. It's in there. You know, being happier. It says it. It's the last thing. Dang. I love God. I love God. I love what I do. I hope you guys love it too. You know, a lot of you are just, but I think that you don't see this. You don't realize, you know, but you're about to. You are about to realize. You're about to, again, have to step out of that body real quick. You know, take a step back, look at the big picture, and you will realize that you're on another side of the room. You know what I mean? You're not you're not in the same space that you were. And you look, mature woman. <laughs> Some of you, especially the feminine, feminine energy is very strong on the board, but it could be everybody. Yeah, it's like you've really stepped out of a place where you just yeah, some of y'all are in court. I told you some of you are in court, legal things with the contract, but it's just contracts in general that are being finalized. You know, that these things are like, it's in the fine print, you know, the stuff that's happening for you. I think a lot of you have been sort of in this revolving door of towers, you know, like you've been going through such hard times and it's like you've gotten through them you know again and again and again and again and again and not always so gracefully you know sometimes and that's human that's human we can't always as much as we want to handle things gracefully it's not always going to be like that sometimes we're going to scream sometimes we're going to yell and fight and kick and cry and and say mean things and you know isolate and be depressed and all that shit we're not always going to you know be like well you know that's life no we have emotion we're people you know what i mean so but I, I see that it was like, it was rough. It was rough for some time. But I mean, the way you have persevered through this, there's no, um, some of you around the house. I mean, nothing's falling, but I'm just looking at the cards as I go shuffling here. There's definitely change. Yeah, something in the house. Official person, family room. Can I get one more of that? Ooh. A marriage. Some of you are. I I got that in the last collective message. Something about blended families could be uh, moving in with people, uh, getting married, making arrangements. You know, with the courthouse official person that can very well be uh, a clergyman. You know, city hall. It doesn't always have to be some grand, grandiose or you know, like I don't know whatever the word for you know for a wedding. Let's get you some advice. <laughs> what advice do you have for my collective spirit? What advice do you have for my spirit? Sorry, guys. People are texting me. I have to be. Okay. Be patient, okay? Be patient. You definitely are on a journey here. And I feel like... <laughs> It's funny with the journey card, I get decisions with the two. It's like two of wands almost. Um, and I think I said that in the beginning that you guys have a choice of like the new thing and the old thing. And the old thing sort of cancels itself out already. Okay. And I don't think that the patience is you're having to be patient so much. I think it's that you've been patient. I think that through all the turmoil, through 
this journey of fucking just endless shit you know it's just been an endless charade of fucking crazy um you have been patient you have done the work and but you've been and you've been so buried in it again that you did not even see you're not even realizing like you made it you fucking made it okay um so let's get a spiritual message for you. I, i'm being called to pull a love message as well let's do that one first and then we'll do the overall spiritual message i am being called to put called if i could talk thanks a lot mercury um to pull a love a love oracle as well here for some of you because this is definitely okay that's the one that wants to come out oh I, I mean when i say when i say this when i say this i mean it from inside i love god I love the divine. I love everything the way it aligns, okay? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it in faith. And that came out with what? Journey. Remember? This is what you've been waiting for. I think a lot of you are walking into your life's purpose, your life's path. Um... But it's just, you know, the right path is what I want to say. Because it's not end-all, be-all for everyone watching. But it is the right path. And um, I think a lot of you are very deserving of a breath of fresh air. You know, a new routine. Um, a new life. Uh, on a higher level, especially. Because that higher fan was really standing out strong to me, okay? Okay. Thank you. We got this in the last one, did we not? Water your garden. A lot of you have been so focused on other things and trying to get yourself out of whatever situations you've been in that you have neglected yourself to some degree, um, but you're not anymore, okay? Um, it's very big. You had healthy choices. You have water your garden. You have released the past. You have all this stuff about being able to look at yourself. Remember when I said step out? Sometimes you do, you know? And I don't want to freak anybody out with that, but yeah, sometimes you have to sort of step out of your body to look at what is going on, where you are, what you've done, you know, how things have affected you, you know, building new muscle memory. I'm hearing muscle memory. Some of you are really into the gym right now, really into your weight and your like healthy life changes. But you know what else is a muscle? Your brain. <laughs> you know what else is a muscle? Your heart. I mean, these organs, they, they're muscles. You know, they're things, they flex, they move, they, they, we need to keep them healthy, yeah? So, water your garden i think that's all spirit has for you when i broke that on the on the split it was perspective on the split when i opened this okay i opened the cards just because i guess spirit made me none of this matters zoom out common ground i the outer body okay bye i'm done i'm, I'm scaring myself now love light and abundance